the empath and the black sheep of the family. Were you also the odd one out in your family, the one that didn't really fit in? I played with uh, Lucky Charms as a kid. I was always drawn to spirituality and books on it as well. I was intuitive and ho- and I always had a deep sense of knowing. As long as I made an effort with those around me, everything was fine. However, if I did not make the effort, I did not hear from people anymore. You would never know from the outside that I was anxious around others, but I am always making jokes. I love to laugh and I've always been a really funny person. Laughter always makes me feel better, and it breaks up the tension in the room. I love the quote by Jim Carrey that says, the black sheep in the family is the awakened one, the one that is awakened to consciousness. But before we come to realize this, it can be a really painful experience by not fitting in with family or friends. Once I stopped drinking, I came to the realization that I always felt inside, um, which was I always felt different. I felt different than everyone else. I never felt like I belonged. I felt like I was an alien. I always felt like I had a family somewhere else. I always tried to be an extrovert and outgoing, but deep down I'm an introvert. People exhaust me and I need time to recharge. I am not only the black sheep of my family, I'm a highly sensitive person, which is also known as an empath. My family is all broken apart. It's like an inherited malfunction in the system somewhere. Being a sensitive person makes everything worse at times, especially when your family has a get-together and they do not invite you. It makes you want to draw, withdraw even more from them and from society. It brings up old wounds and triggers. Being a very sensitive person is hard to deal with in toxic environments. You can talk until you're blue in the face. However, people can only see you from their level of perception. This was always a difficult concept for me to deal with. I thought everyone should understand what I was saying. I thought everyone was like me. Not everyone will understand you, and you may not understand others. Sometimes the black sheep grows up in a toxic environment, and because of this, we pick up toxic traits along the way, and then we become, then we end up being around toxic people, and it becomes normal for us. And then we start dating toxic partners because that's all we have known our whole life. And then since we feel like black sheep, we tend to find others with wounds as well. But instead of finding sheep, we actually find wolves in sheep's clothing. The problem with this is not all wounded people can deal with their issues. Everyone deals with things in different ways. I would just walk away from things when they were too much for me to handle with toxic partners that I dated. They were very aggressive and controlling, and they, when they felt like they were losing me, and losing control of the situation, they struck. They became violent and explosive, trying to trap me and make me uh, become afraid of them. My world became a nightmare. I think that is why I always liked horror movies because in a sense, that is what my world was. I saw people as monsters. I recently had someone read cards, like the tarot cards for me, and she said that I needed to sit with my dark side, (laughs) and I laughed. I looked at her and said, that is all I've known my whole life. I've done that. I've sat in darkness with myself. Now the phase that I am learning is to reprogram my mind, telling myself I don't have to listen to what others say anymore. If something doesn't resonate with me, I don't have to believe it. I think for myself, and I go with my intuition. I don't have to please others, just myself. I've come to a point in my life where I really don't care who stays and who goes. I've got me, and I'm sure maybe at some point I will let others in again, but I'm very picky now with who I let in my space. But that is how it should be, and that's just how it is.